I've said it before and I promise I will say it again. Healthy birds are happy birds and happy birds are more productive birds. Today we're going to go over some tiny menaces that can threaten your bird's health, viruses and bacteria. I'm Alyssa with Southland Organics. As poultry farmers, we know your number one priority is growing a healthy and productive bird. But sometimes that may be easier said than done. In the world of poultry production, there are a ridiculous number of things that can make your birds feel under the weather. Believe it or not, some of the smallest offenders make the largest impact. No, really, like microscopic. In recent years, it has been estimated that the total economic loss from disease is about 20% of the value of poultry production, which is about three times the economic loss from mortality. That means that the poultry industry is losing about 20% of its potential profit from challenges caused by disease separate from birds' mortality. Living organisms that cause disease are often referred to as infectious agents. These include parasites, external pests, and fungus. Some of the most concerning of these in poultry environments, however, are viruses and bacteria. These little bugs have an uncanny ability to find their way into houses and wreak havoc. Bacteria and viruses differ in three major ways. Cellular complexity, their ability to survive, and disease specificity. When I say complexity, I'm referring to their biological makeup. Bacteria are single-celled living organisms that reproduce through binary fission. Viruses, on the other hand, are not even truly living organisms, but let me explain. Living organisms are defined as being able to grow, reproduce, maintain internal conditions, and react to stimuli. Viruses are very simply a collection of genetic material, DNA or RNA, enclosed in a membrane. In order to reproduce, they have to invade a host cell and hijack machinery found there. Along with complexity comes the ability to survive. Since viruses are not living, they cannot persist in the environment for very long. Anything with the ability to damage their membranes will kill them. This can include UV light, intense heat or cold, natural surfactants, and disinfectants. Certain viruses are hardier than others and possess additional membranes, but as a general rule, they will not be around for very long. Bacteria, however, are a different beast. Bacteria can live in a well-suited environment for up to five years, and sometimes longer. This is made possible in part by their ability to acquire nutrients from their surroundings, but also by specialized adaptations to better suit them to their home, whether that means extreme heat tolerance or the ability to photosynthesize. While bacteria can be fairly specific about where they want to live, they aren't always concerned about where they invade. Most bacterial infections are due to the proliferation of an opportunistic organism. Take Clostridium, for example. Clostridium is ever-present in a poultry environment and can even exist without causing problems. But, given a bird with poor gut health or a floor that's a little too moist, these bacteria can easily lead to necrotic enteritis or foot pad dermatitis. Viruses, on the other hand, are extremely specific to what systems and even what cells they target. In the case of avian influenza, viral cells target a receptor found in the respiratory tract of avian species. Lucky for us, various vaccines are available for both of these infectious agents and allow us to protect our birds from disease. In both cases, portions of genetic material of the organism or toxins it produces are used to pre-expose the bird. This ensures that the next time it meets the same challenge, its immune system is prepared. These vaccines, along with supplements like probiotics and vitamins, can help ensure that your birds remain healthy no matter what they face. So let's review. There are three major differences between bacteria and viruses. One, bacteria are alive, but viruses technically aren't. Two, bacteria tend to have special adaptations that allow them to survive in the chosen environment. Most viruses aren't so hardy. Three, bacteria can exist in your coop without you knowing it until they find an opportunity to thrive and an issue occurs. Viruses, on the other hand, attack very specific parts of the bird following introduction. In a perfect world, everyone would start their day with a nice cup of coffee and houses full of healthy birds. Unfortunately, that may not always be the reality. From bacterial infections such as necrotic enteritis and foul cholera, to viral diseases like infectious laryngotrichitis and foul pox, it would seem that some little bug is always waiting for the right moment to take over. But with poultry vaccines and immune system support through probiotics and vitamins, 
you can prepare your birds to fight these microscopic menaces. As I said, healthy birds are happy birds and happy birds are more productive. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss a single thing. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at Alyssa at southlandorganics.com or call 800-608-3755. Thanks for watching. Thank you.